là aujourd'hui on est en Australie, à Cairns plus exactement, le nord de l'Australie, et on a rendez-vous avec David qui est Snake Catcher. Et il va m'expliquer comment on attrape un serpent. Et waouh Ben voilà, il est assez gros quand même, hein. je pensais qu'il allait être un peu plus petit. C'est ce qu'on appelle un amethystine python, où ils ont en fait leur nom, que je vais vous mettre dans le sol. See the metallics? Oh yeah. He's actually named after the amethyst stone. Has been known to grow up to six meters in length. They're certainly not backward in giving you a bite if you decide that you're going to annoy it. When they bite, it hurts. Oh yeah? Well, yeah. It's about 160 teeth in his head. Between that, between tasting the air with his tongue yep. for smell, and the heat sensors, these are all methods that he uses to catch his prey. And then when he gets it, he does what he's doing here and he constricts it. <laughs> you want to hold him? Yeah. You look very, very nervous. Oh, because he's coming on my... That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. very strong. You can feel the muscle. They are known for eating people's cats. Really? And dogs. Okay. People's chickens. People's guinea pigs. People's cage birds. Wow. They're not fussy. All can be on the menu. Not us. No, no, no. we are too big. While the tongue's coming out, that's good. Whereas if you're in attack mode, just like if you're about to attack me, you wouldn't have your tongue out, would you? No. <laughs> voilà, les présentations sont maintenant faites. Passons à la pratique avec un serpent brun arboricole. He thinks that we're predators, but certainly, if not interfered with, he won't bother you. He really wants to get away. So if we give him a tunnel to hide, he goes straight in there for us, where you would bring the bag up and then proceed. Not always that easy. <laughs> Everywhere but the bag. Je vais essayer de le faire maintenant. Alors là, ça va être autre chose parce que... All right, well... Where this particular snake yep. can turn 180 degrees and come back up and bite you on the hand, where a venomous snake can't do that. That's it, that's it. Very good. <laughs> Gently pick him up, quickly scoop. That's it, let him go. And then you swivel. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's okay because we're not dealing with a killer. Okay. But if that was a dangerous snake, you wouldn't want to be touching the bag because oh, he'd really? bite you through the bag. So you normally just swiftly roll it. Il est maintenant temps d'aller sur le terrain avec David et son employé Steve. Il faut savoir que le métier d'attrapeur de serpent est imprévisible. Le téléphone peut sonner 24 heures sur 24, 7 jours sur 7. Et on ne sait jamais sur quoi on va tomber. C'est un petit fella. Un petit fella Oui. Ils arrivent à 6 mètres, ces gars. Oh, il est bon c'était rapide, hein Une fois le serpent attrapé, il faut trouver un endroit adapté pour la dernière étape du boulot, la relâche. En tout cas, je ne regarderai plus les serpents de la même façon, ça c'est sûr. Job done. Like that. Hold his head up like that. That's straight in front of you. Yeah, straight in front. Like that. 